going to put it down to the probably the most talented player. And I will go with Marcus Rashford. He's got everything. Every physical attribute, every technical attribute as well. He's a top player and he's still only really young for, for how long he's been in the game as well. How hard is it to mark him and get close to him in training? Because he is absolutely rapid, isn't he? He's so fast, he's so direct as well. And then when you do get tight, he puts it through your legs. So <laughs> you've got to try and make your decision. So no, he's a, he's a, he's a top player. I'll probably put myself up there on the pitch. I'm either moaning at my teammates, moaning at the referee, or moaning at the officials. Apart from myself, I would go with Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw likes a little moan around the plate. There's always something up with him. I wouldn't have Luke Shaw down as a moaner. What's he piping up about? Just everything. More, more about the schedule and the, the timings and the gym work or whatever. Just, just training in general. He, he likes a little moan, um, but he always gets his head down. He always works hard, but he does like a moan to, to go with it. Nemanja Matic can be a joker in the dressing room, lots of pranks with people's clothes and you see, I think you've seen what he did to Bruno as well when the, the Portugal uh, should have scored the goal against Serbia so I think he was happy with that one. Um, <laughs> Dan James is really bubbly, dancing about and joking around with everyone just putting a smile on people's faces. Axel I would put up there, always in the gym, always doing pull-ups very strong and I'd also put Nemanja as well I think he's he's got that ruthlessness he he looks after our fines as well so um, he's quite strong with it and I'm alongside him so I'm happy he's alongside me too. Are you like his bodyguard when he goes up to collect the money? Yeah, well to be fair he doesn't need a bodyguard to be fair to him so no he's, he's really strong and ruthless with it so he, he, he's not bothered who it is um, he tells him if you've been fine you've been fine and all the lads moan at him continuously they're just saying that he's after he's after money all the time so it's an odd job, but he's not bothered. Cavani, um, he's always looking suave, coming in smart. He's got great dress sense, and he's always doing his his barn in the in the mirror as well. So uh, that long hair, I'm sure it takes a, a long time to do. It's a great, great barn, isn't it? It's a great barn. He's obviously he must have took a few few years uh, to grow. I'm sure you'd probably like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> I've had, I've had the transplant and it's coming through. We're, <laughs> we're getting there, Harry. We're getting there. We're getting there. Few years, few years. I go with Marcus again. Um, I'm sure there's numerous clips where you've seen him down the left wing and he puts it through the, the right back's leg and he does it a lot in training. We have rondos before most training sessions as well and he's probably the one who gets the... If you get nutmegged in the rondo, everyone... Um, celebrates and makes you feel embarrassed and um, you, you, you have to go in again and he's probably the one I'd say who gets the most. Do you do the flicking of the ear? I've seen a few of the boys do it for when they play two touch after training. Um, I think they probably stick to it when it's in the summer though. I'm not sure if they, if they quite like it when it's three degrees outside and everyone's freezing cold. Because like, if you've got like 13, 14 blokes coming around flicking your ear, I worry about the ear. You should do as well, because I've seen some of the flicks. Um, but I must say, when I've seen it sometimes, they play two-touch, and then the loser obviously gets their ears flicked, but because they know that they're going to play another game of two-touch, they're a bit friendly with it, so that they're expecting that back when they, when they lose, maybe if they lose the next game, so they're always thinking ahead, I think. I missed um, Scott McTominay's before I come, it was a few months before I come, I think he did it, and he was excellent. I haven't, I think he does fancy himself with, with singing, so if you ever get him on an interview, maybe get a few lyrics out of him. <laughs> What I've seen is probably Alex Tellez. Yeah. Um, he had a little bit, yeah, good voice, sang a, sang a, I think a Spanish song, so it wasn't the greatest song. I'm sure all the Spanish uh, lads and the Portuguese lads liked it, but he also, I think, can play the guitar as well pretty well, so I think he's, he's, he's not bad on the music department. What did you bring to the party, Harry? Twist again, with a little jiggle in there as well. Twist again? What's that one? Come on, let's twist again. Like we did last summer. That's it. Oh, there we go. let's twist again. Like we did last week. <laughs>
<laughs> Love it. Top man, Harry, thanks so much. Cheers, see you soon. See you, mate. Thank you.